Alright, here we're gonna play one of my favorite gods in Duel, Fafnir. Fafnir. I believe that Fafnir is one of the best guardians in Duel. Him, Ymir, and I always have a hard time choosing the next one. Hmm. Well, let's just say him and Ymir. Him and Ymir are the top ones. Yamoja's very good, except that she is a bug right now with her Omi, but, you know, we're gonna jump right into this game and show you guys how to play Fafnir, you know, as always. All right, we're in game now. We're against uh, Thanatos. Now, I've played this. Oh, let me go to the proper start. Proper start Fafnir is Specialist Blessing, Bancrofts, four uh, health potions, and one mana. Okay, so this is the, I guess, the best start on him. Uh, but we're against Thanatos. I have played this before. There's some good and some bad to it. Now, I'm an extremely late game character. Fafnir's early game's very bad. Thanatos' early game is extremely good as late game's okay so this game is pretty much all about getting to late game and not letting him snowball me uh, i actually had this matchup a couple days ago and i was getting instantly blown up throughout the entire game um he would alt from the jungle and i would just instantly die and i was able to come back slowly but surely the best thing for thanatos in this matchup is that thanatos has uh, has what's the word for it slow immunity and with that slow immunity, then get out of my my combo combo. Now, um, whenever I fight Thanatos as one of the gender bent skins, I usually refer to Thanatos as she. But it's like confusing because when I'm talking about Thanatos, the god, you know, it just gets confusing pretty fast. I know last time I did a full gameplay and I was referring to Thanatos as she, and they were using the gender bent skin. There's a lot of comments being like, I didn't, uh, I did not know what you're talking about. But yeah, uh, the reason I do those special blessings, she blocked my clear drive, that's fine. It's always okay to do the poke. Um, the reason I go special blessing is because Fafnir desperately needs mana and cooldown in the early game. Might have to brace for this, might not. We probably will have to back early. And special blessing provides both of those. Major's Blessing gives you 10% cooldown when it's evolved, but it takes way too long to evolve, so that's kind of a no-go. And Major's Blessing barely gives any MP5 on average. Like, it gives 20 MP5 when you have no mana. Special's Blessing gives you 20 MP5 all the time. So it, it helps the Fabry sustain big time. Plus, when it evolves, it's pretty helpful, but that is not the reason why I buy it. Getting it evolved is okay. It's not the reason to buy it. Just gonna trade some autos here. Try and do a little bit more damage. We don't want to get low enough where she ults us, but we want to get to level 5 eventually. Dang, she heals a lot. We will need anti-heal pretty fast in this game. Dodge Scythe. Nice. I imagine if we, if we can try to minimize the loss until we are about level 9, things will start going better. Did I hear her start ulting? I did not. Okay. Well, Fafnir has... Oh, she's taking this. Fafnir hasn't built an Aegis in this game, which is pretty good. Oh, she's ulting. Okay. Will she come back down, though? No. Will she? Oh! Can you dodge aside? Oh, just barely. Unfortunately, I cannot dodge the scythe in dragon form. Yeah, so she'll take first blood. The Warrior's Blessing helped her out in the in just mitigating all of my tick damage. It doesn't make it makes a good enough it makes it enough of a difference where she's able to live through that. Just the base stats from Warrior's Blessing. I feel like I probably would have gotten the kill if she didn't have it, but that's fine. We're two levels down. If anything, her getting the early kill makes this for a more interesting matchup. The battle of the early versus late game. So we shall see. I do have, I've played this match a couple times, whereas this is probably their first time playing against Fafnir, so that's always kind of an advantage I get when playing Guardians, is that I've maybe played the matchup way more times than my opponents played it. So it's kind of nice with that. But even if they know the matchup, it can be tricky. She's fighting into the minions. Okay, let's just get our heal off. Stun her. We need to run. Does she have boots? No, but she has... No, nope, she has just, uh... Base assassin movement speed. Things are looking gloom. But I believe in Fafnir, alright? I, I truly believe Fafnir is one of the best guardians in Duel. 
I can lose. I've I've had so many games where I lose the early game and come back. I believe in Fafnir. I'm gonna wait for the full Bancrofts. Fafnir's core items. He needs max cooldown. He needs Spirit Mages or some sort sort of strong penetration. And then Bancrofts. He Bancrofts is needed to survive the early game, but if you you can probably make do without it. I just think once you get Bancrofts, you can actually clear pretty well and kind of defend yourself. Also, when they attack you, you know, your ultimate just does all their health. I am probably going to go anti-heal before my official, my other penetration, though. Like instead, instead of Spirit of Mages, I'll go Divine Rune. Or possibly before Breastplate, but it depends. Because right now she's... Oh, I did not juke that. I th thought I juked that. It just depends. Her going to tanky start is smart. She can ult. Yep. Unfortunately, I had to run away there. We did live, but I don't know if that's worth. Okay, if she goes for us, kind of screwed. Not gonna lie. Oh, she got greedy there. They she got really greedy. That was kind of scary. She went straight for me, trying to go around the minions. Uh, she, there was no way she could kill me unless she hit a side. So she tried, had, in order to get around the minions, she had to go into my phoenix. And she missed. And she took two, uh, was it two or three phoenix shots? She took quite a bit of damage from that. Her ultimate is down. Um, I might be able to take this real quick and then dip. Yeah, we're fine. All right, I can just recall. I was going to leap into my tower, but that's good. That's some good stuff. Very good stuff. Yeah, if she ults first, I can always use my ultimate to counter ult. But I have a feeling that I'm going to be the one that's ulting first most of the time, and then she's going to counter ult me. Her counter ulting me is not too big of a deal because I'm still going to get my ultimate damage offline, or I should. I should. Let's, like, even if she had perfect reflexes, I'm pretty sure I would still get it. Ah, uh, nope. Unfortunate. Also, this skin is clean. I always say it. This is like the best diamond skin, in my opinion. Oh, she's ulting. We're fine. I actually might want her to dive here. Nope. That's fine. Now my ult's up and she ults down, so we can probably kill her next time. Especially because, um, you know, bank roughs. Okay. Okay, if, if she wants to fight me here, I will gladly fight her. This is a good position to fight her. Now that my hammer's down, don't want to fight her. We need our hammer and ultimate up at the same time, and preferably her scythe down. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, but that movement speed increased. Can I get her over the wall? Nope. Got her over the wall there, though. I love having instant cast. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. I can live there. Vader. Good stuff. Both of our Bancrofts. This is an interesting matchup. I like it. She got the early game, but so I'm slowly transitioning to mid to late. This is considered the early to mid game, I would say, in duel. Around this mark. Once you have boots, I think it's the early mid. Once you get defense, it's about mid game. And then once you have, you know, you're like five, six items, that's late. And of course, I will mention that Fafnir can take towers. With Spear of the Mages, he can he can apply Spear of the Mages to towers with his two. I know, I know, it's incredible. I love it. My, one of my favorite mechanics in the game. That hit me? Gross. Alright. Uh oh. Okay, I wasn't thinking that would be up. Stay behind minions because her scythe is up. Her scythe is down. Her three is almost up, but I can probably leap over it. If she tries it. Let's see. Yep. Oh, I missed. Oh god! No! That went so well and then I missed my hammer! I had the hottest leap ever and I missed my hammer, which is not that hard of an ability to hit. Oh man. That's a, that's of course it would be me to make a play like that. Leap over that and damage her, but miss my scythe. That's okay though. Just keeping the matchup interesting. Keeping the matchup interesting. 
Dang. I did opt for the cooldown before uh, Divine Rune, by the way. I know earlier I was thinking about getting the anti-heal first, but nah, we need our Breastplate, because it counts as cooldown and defense, you know? Next item for sure will be Divine Rune. Yo, know, upgraded Curse Dawn could be good against Thanatos. Now this is a little scary because our tower's down. Should be fine, though. Definitely want to go Spear the Mages. There, we did that again. Eh. She's using her movement speed to her advantage. I cannot commit to this as bad as I want to. I wanted to commit to that, but... No. I think I think she would have lived. Now I can get Blink or Aegis. I'm going to go Aegis because I am a very aggressive person. I need on Transform. Divine Ruin next. Things are going to be good. Things are going to be good. Looks like she is skipping defense. And getting... I have no idea what item that is going to be. That builds into Ickable, yes. I doubt it's going to be Atlanta's bow, but... I've seen Stranger. Oh, she got Bull Demon. Alright. This game is getting very close. This game is getting very close because now she has Bull Demon and she has the option to take my Phoenix. I hear ultimate. No, no, she's over there. If I can get this, that'd be great because they're not giving me some extra gold. Okay, she's ulting. Check on the minimap when I need to link. Nice. Now can we kill her? She does have defense. My one shreds defense or shreds some defense, but I don't know. Does not look like we can kill her. If I can prevent her from fully taking that, that'd be great though. Alright, we need it back before we untransform. Unlucky that she gets this Phoenix, but I don't care. I honestly do not care. It's fine. This matchup could have gone better. Could have gone worse. I still feel confident that we can win this. Never, ever underestimate Fafnir, okay? Never, ever underestimate him. He's never out of the fight. Alright? He never is. I'm about 800 gold behind. That's not too bad. Our Fafnir passive is slightly keeping us in it. The bonus gold. Alright, she has red buff. This is not the time to fight her until we get Divine Rune. Divine Rune, Spirit of the Mages. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these minions push. Let them kill my minions. That way she loses all that XP and gold. And then I'll kill the fire minions. This is a this is how people get uh, back in the game once they're behind. Because she loses an entire minion wave here, you know. Whereas I'm going to get a... Whereas I'm going to get one. So that's good. I mean, obviously she's taking all the buffs. But she would have taken them whether I did that or not. All right, let's go get this. Whoops. The only time that I need to worry about actually killing this spinning wave is when she's here. So I'm just gonna slightly damage it here. Let them kill my minions, and then we'll kill them. Nice, nice. Next item will be Spear of the Mages. I want to aggress, but I am worried about her alting past me and going for Titan. Like right now, it kind of looks like she might be doing that. Nope, just going straight for me. Talisman of Energy, ooh, she wants that movement speed. 
She wants that movement speed. I understand. No, I get it. She just used her beads and bracer. Good stuff. Little bit scary. Little bit scary because of how much movement speed she has. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, let's go over here. Heal, untransform. Alright, we are now entering the mid to late game, I would say. I know my Phoenix is already down, but in terms of items, it's kind of already late game because my Phoenix is down, but we should be able to come back very, very well here. My Phoenix is up. I can't afford Spear the Mages right now. Might want to wait on it. Probably not the best idea, but I'm full health, so it should be okay. And besides, I need to get wards too. Ah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Just to triple check that she's not going to take Bull Demon. The only thing is I can't exactly fight her till my ult's up. Just five more seconds. Did I get red? No. That's bad. That's bad. That's pretty bad. She is very fast with that Talisman of Energy. Talisman of Energy is like not meant for duel, but it's definitely not the worst item I've seen built in duel, you know? Oh god, there's the ult. Can't blink, can't blink. Okay, okay, okay. Little scary, not gonna lie. A little scary, that was one of the closest blinks I've had against Santos. I'm. It was so close, I kind of think she missed. I'm not sure. I'll have to look look back at the YouTube video. I hope she, I kind of hope she didn't miss because then uh, it'd be a lot cooler if she was spot on just uh, that I dodged it. But that was extremely close. It was the right thing for her to do. Definitely to ult there. Just it's hard to anticipate the blink. Like that would have been game if she killed me with that ult. You know, I was in the execute threshold. If you look at the damage I was doing to Phoenix, you can see Spear of Mages being applied to it as I was doing more damage per auto attack. All right, now we back at Spear of Mages. Here we go. And I'm gonna get a power potion before we sell our special blessing. Last item can be double defense. It can be Gem of Iso, although I don't think Gem of Iso would be good just because of her slow immunity. Last item could be Typhons because she does not have any anti heal. Oh, I should have expected this. Unfortunate. Kind of wanted to upgrade Bracer to get her, but I don't know. Okay, we baited her. That's good. I wanted her to come back on me. I wanted her to come back on me because I was almost certain I could take that fight. Just because I had my bracer up and I had I was in ultimate form. It was risky, but I think it was a risk I had to take considering she took Bull Demon. Because if she backed, if she ulted and went straight to her fountain, that would have been bad for me. So I had to kind of make it look like she could take that fight. Unfortunately, they changed it so Fafnir can't apply Spirit Mages to towers in his dragon form anymore. That, uh, he used to be able to do that. He can't anymore. So, you know, it's a little unfortunate. We get Phoenix. Okay, we might have to blink out here. We'll see. Is she coming straight for me or going the other way? Oh, she's going back. Okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, let's see, how much health do you have? I'm tempted to get Typhoons just because without the anti-heal, it's very strong. Or do more for move speed. Let's go Typhoons. I can always change it if she gets Brawlers or something. 
anti heal is good against Fafnir. It's not like a must, but it's it's pretty good. I would recommend it if you're fighting a Fafnir. What can I say? This game was interesting. It's kind of back and forth. And I have 516 power. Even with anti heal Typhoons, it increases your healing from life steal to 40 by 40 percent. So it pretty much negates one anti heal item. You know? Oh, you have pestilence. Did someone get double defense? All right. She has double defense. We should be able to kill her either way though. Because of Fafnir Shred. I'm going to use Upgrade Bracer for cooldowns in a second. Oh, not even needed. Nice. If she somehow got out of that, my leap would have been up and be able to kill her. So, GG. Thank you all for watching. Never underestimate Fafnir, okay? Never do it. He is one of the best guardians in Duel. Also, a little announcement. I am working on a tier list. Uh, I don't want to, like, make a tier list, like, live in the video. What I want to do is make the tier list over the couple of days adjust it to be best and i'm also writing a little portion for each and every god on why i feel like they belong there and you know oh i got reported why is everybody reporting me dude i played i played fafnir why are you reporting me for playing fafnir all right well gg uh yeah uh right now we are diamond four as well but look out for that tier list um it's just gonna be for the end of the season and then Next season, I might make one. I've never made a tier list before. It would be targeted towards diamond players, and it is completely my opinion. But I will see you guys.